Hello everybody, um, I don't know how well you can hear me without my usual headset on, but this is a very impromptu episode of the Bath Chronicles, where I'm in Marble Arch, where Extinction Rebellion are, um, in their numbers, actually, well, there's a couple of them here, to say the least. Um, hello people watching and it's quite fascinating and a bit smelly not them but I'm going to flip the camera so let's give you some context uh, geographically that the road here from Marble Arch is completely blocked police presence there and then pan right here into the center and then the main encampment begins so the the road to Edgeware Road is blocked and then you walk in to them and their gang. There's some games one can play with the dinosaur and other such facets. Wow, it's quite a few. This might take the police quite a long time to uh, shift this. So now the birds apparently have returned to Marble Arch because it's quiet. It was a sign saying no drugs or alcohol, keep the focus, which is quite interesting. So with the lentil station. Giant elephant. This fucking elephant. It's incredible. Meat's not green. Talk to us, Teresa, hashtag. Talk to us, Teresa. It's like she hasn't got enough on her poor plate. Her Brexit flavored plate. Here's a shrine to something. Maybe to Mother Earth. Future drinking water. What this is? Yeah, yeah, what I just, Extinction yeah. Rebellion. Have you not heard about it? I actually haven't. Oh, uh, the, basically, the bunch of environmentalists have had four different sites occupied the last week in London, trying to make a point about how the planet's fucked. Always providing a public service, me. All right, I want to um, end this before the 10 minute mark, gang. Um, so it can save and be uploaded. I'm not sure they're related to Extinction Rebellion. As you can see, there's, you know, two, three hundred tents maybe. There's a mighty gang here, really um, starting to redecorate the place. 
course the police allow this site, they wouldn't be able to move it. Not without some fairly ugly scenes, which neither side want. So really is a pretty big perimeter that's occupied. Police there to the left. Sort of a centre gathering with a fire. As you can see down there, there's a stage where people have been playing. Massive attack played here on last night, I believe, under a secret headline. is bringing a few different characters out of the woodworks. So Marble Arts has become a festival, basically. The police have no control over them. It's a really interesting thing what's going on. If you think about it. It's anti-authoritarian but incredibly peaceful and quite surreally wonderful. I mean, Marble Arch has been redecorated in a way that I'm not sure it has in its whole history or will ever be again. Something seems to have happened. Maybe an arrest, possibly. It's now technically the largest civil uprising by police numbers. A thousand people arrested. Suddenly that group just dis dispersed. Alright gang, we'll leave it there for a minute, but this is Marble Arch.